Are you playing Tears of the Kingdom but getting annoyed at your favourite and strongest weapons breaking? Well, fear not because we're going to show you how to unlock a secret room which contains a variety of powerful Gerudo weapons that have one of the best base weapon perks in the game, Strong Fuse, that doubles the attack power of attached monster parts. These weapons can easily make some of the most powerful and highest attack power weapons, but farming the exact type of Gerudo weapon you want can be annoying. However, this secret room contains one of each and will respawn them, so it's a great location to have unlocked and then place a travel medallion inside, so you have an awesome and easy location to keep stocked up on these powerful base weapons. However, if you're looking for one of the coolest looking weapons, then we have you covered here and where to get it, so you can have this scythe weapon for yourself to destroy those bow goblins in style. Let's start off with how to unlock the secret room of the statue of the eighth heroine, and if you want to unlock another secret, hit that like button down below so YouTube will bless you with good luck on your next amiibo scan. So the first thing you will want to do is head to Gerudo Town, and you will have to have completed the regional quest for this area. Getting these powerful and respawnable weapons comes with a price, so you have to finish the area quest first, but it's totally worth it. Head into the shelter within the town and talk with Rotana, and she will need your help deciphering these stone texts and give you a quest, The Heroine's Secret. For this, we will need to go and take a picture of four of these stone texts hidden inside the shelter. The first one is just around the corner from her, behind some stone that you will need to break. So pop it open and take a picture. The next one is through a passage under the colourful hanging fabrics and then into the small storage room. There will be a couple of pots that need breaking that will reveal a small side room, so go inside of here and then ascend above into the prison and take a picture of the tablet in there. Talk to the guard to head out and then make your way into the training room. You'll need to line up your photo to the stone tablet so it's readable, and the camera will have a little pop-up when it's working. Finally, head out of the door to your right and go deeper into the shelter, where we will then have to use Ultra Hand to grab a chunk of the stone tablet that fell off. Then slot it back inside the tablet and take a picture of it here. After this, head back to Rotana and she will read all of the texts for you and get quite excited about the secret 8th heroine and give you a tasty 100 rupees for finishing the quest. Then follow her and head into the back room past the training room where she will be stood around a bunch of statues. Talk with her to start the next quest in the chain. Here we will need to find 7 stone orbs and place them on the statues. Let's start with the orbs that are in the shelter itself. One can be found in the center of the shelter, so just grab it and go back to the statues and place it on the one with a matching icon to that on the orb. After this, another orb can be found inside of the storage room that we went in before. So grab this one and repeat, taking it back to the statue and placing it on the correct one. The next one is in a room past the colorful fabrics hanging on the ceiling, and then go left into the side room where you will find it hidden on a shelf. There's also a topaz here, so you might as well grab that too. Take the orb back and place it as before, and then we've got a few more to go and get. Next we will need to locate the ones in the town itself above ground, so go here on the map and talk with Dahlia, who will not let you have the orb unless you beat her mini game. She will hide a plush somewhere down in the shelter, and I think it's random where the plush goes. So keep your eyes open for a green plush, and once you've found it, use your ultra hand on it before the timer runs out. After you've beat this mini game, you can then go back to where she was and grab the orb for yourself and run it back to the statues as before. After you've placed that, you will then need to head here on the map, but this time you'll need an item that can blow wind to make the sand pile reveal the next orb. I used a fan to do this, and then once you've got it, grab it and take it back as before. Once you've done that one, travel to here within the town and grab the orb that's next to a Gerudo spear. The spear's pretty good, so you might want to take that too. It does get annoying carrying these orbs all the way back each time, but it's going to be worth it. The final orb is even further away this time. We're going to have to travel to Karakara Bazaar, and here we will find two travelers near the orb. You will need to help them find their friend in order to get this. So talk with them to start the quest, and then head outside to the southwest of the village, where you will find a sinkhole nearby, which we will need to jump inside of. Once you're inside, talk to the lost traveler, and we'll have to help him get out. You can smash your way through the stone walls with a rock-breaking weapon or bomb flowers, and there's various side rooms for extra loot along the way. Or break this particular wall to exit the area straight away. Once you've climbed back up, you can and then go back to them and talk with them to finish the quest and get the orb. It's quite the journey to bring this back so you might want to build something to travel with it. I made a simple sled with some fans attached and then rode it all the way back. It's a long way but this is the last orb. Well, almost. 
because after you've placed them all correctly on the statues, a secret room will appear below. Head inside and inspect the stone text to update the quest. Then you will see an even bigger orb. Now we need to take this all the way outside of Gerudo Town. You can either make a vehicle to do this, or just ultra hand it over like I did, and you want to head north to the most northern point of these ruins. There'll be a hole in the floor where you drop it inside and slot it into its place to unlock this secret area. Once you are inside, you want to make your way deeper. You can collect the bloom seeds and bomb flowers along the way. Use your ultra hand to remove the rocks on the ground and go deeper once again. Run through and follow the tunnel going deeper and deeper. Look out for the enemies along the way, and then when you find some water, jump down. From here, you can ascend up to the door above us. Then follow this path and you'll find three more stones that can be moved. The leftmost stone is the one we want to go through, so move that out the way to reveal another passage. Follow this tunnel once again until you get to a destructible wall of rock. Blow this up or destroy it, and then run as fast as you can over the bridge because it will fall down while you're running on it. Keep following the passage after this until you make your way into the secret room containing each Gerudo weapon as well as one of each elemental gem which is awesome to have. Inspect the text to update the quest, and then place your travel medallion down so you can come back here super easily. Now you have an awesome way to get these Gerudo weapons easily and fuse some super powerful weapons. You can also go back to Rotana and hand in the quest to complete it, and get a tasty diamond as a reward. But maybe you want the awesome scythe we showed off earlier. Well, we've got you covered too. Apparently, if you defeat enough lizard enemies across the map, stronger ones will start to spawn, which will have the item we need. A great place to farm these is on the south side of the Hyrule Castle, where several of them will spawn that you can defeat. Also, the Gemimix Shrine has several around in the water nearby, and this spot in the depths has another camp with several of them too. But this will take quite a long time, so I'm going to show you a more surefire way to get it, but you will need to venture deeper into the darkness of the depths. If you can make your way to the very bottom right of the map, there's a camp here. I'm not 100% sure if it's guaranteed, but for me, this lizard has always spawned here. So defeat it and grab the horn, which you can then craft an awesome scythe weapon for yourself. And what better base weapon to use than the Gerudo ones that we just unlocked from the secret room. So now you're ready to venture out into Hyrule with some awesome looking and super powerful weapons. And if we helped you out in this video, hit that like button down below and subscribe for more content just like this. And the two videos on screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but if you did like this video, you're probably going to like these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.